Hey everyone, how is it going? Welcome to the most brain dead deck you can use for the sudden death tournament with Lava Hound. Uh, I my audio cut out when recording this, so I'm kind of doing a voiceover now. I did live recording, but now the audio is just dead, so we're just gonna have this into music. But basically, this deck requires little to no use of your brain. All you have to know is semi how to place a lava down and how to not overcommit. Um, so you could just see over live gameplay, and then I'll try and like share my thought process the best fireball the magic archer coming out just because the magic archer was going to hit our loon too and then you know the poison's down he lumber loons another lane or actually yeah no just loons another lane i'm gonna give you one tip right here for the sudden death tournament run air counters run air counters and run them hard because you are going to face lumber loon like every single match Literally every single match. You could just look at it here. How much times you fit Lumberloon, dude. It's freaking crazy. Um, there were a couple losses. But as you can see, I, well, you can't really see that I was playing rushed. But I, I kind of was. I just wanted to do this on an alt account and get it, you know, get the amount of wins you need and make this video. Because this really is a stupidly easy deck to win with. So... I'm not actually going to probably use this deck on my main. I'm going to wait till last day, see what Carl uses, see what everybody else is using, and then go from there. Uh, we'll see who has the best deck. But other than that, this deck is pretty fast-paced. You just will always want to keep an air counter in cycle. Keep your tombstone in cycle so if you can so that you can kite balloons. Always assume Lumberloon, even if he has wacky decks, because... Lumberloon usage rate is through the roof. I don't know how it's going to be on the last day, but just always assume he's playing Lumberloon. Uh, poison is good against like everything that Fireball is good against. It's just slower. So the Chad Knight it does really well against weird decks, and you can also cycle really extremely easily with this. Um, I mean, cycle damage. You could just. Bell cycle, it's crazy, dude. And there, I think I lost this one just because I had nothing to play there. I f shouldn't have put the Mega Minion down. I should have predicted a freeze. Yeah, it's too bad. But again, you know, I wasn't really playing hardcore to win the game. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to play like a new Blava player a little too. There's a couple intense matches in here, but it's just... This deck is symbolizing, you know, just the low skill of Sudden Death Tournament. We're going to have a Mega Knight over here, though. And we're going to pull it with the Tombstone. We are going to kill the Archers with the Mega Minion. We're going to use the Chad Knight. And then we don't have to poison there because the Mega Minion does get off the Mega Knight in time for it to kill the Goblins and save our tower. Get the Skeleton Dragons and Tower down in time and we should have poisoned the archers there which was a mistake by my part but we still do get another loon drop and just shows how low skill this is we're playing against emilio here lava in the back first play of course why wouldn't we get ready for a lumber loon you've always got to anticipate it it's coming it's probably a good chance that like every other match you face at lumber loon if not more so this is Pekka Bridge Bam. Quite clearly, he played four Pekka Bridge Bam cards. Pekka Bridge Bam's a pretty good matchup, especially in Sudden Death Tournament with this whack ass deck we're running. Because he can't really take a tower faster than we can take one. So Golden Knight coming down here. Uh, he doesn't do much, really. I used a dash, though, because I'm brain dead. But here it's just literally lava pups and poison decks and tower. It's, ne it's not even. That's crazy, dude. It's just fun at this point. It's just fun to play this tournament. And I wish there was a way you could, you know, or maybe it's, maybe it's just in friendly battles. Like you could just go to tournaments and just play this for fun. It's a really entertaining game mode. And if there weren't like losses on the line and stuff, that would be amazing, because. For the 15th time, I'm playing this half-assed. Lumberloon comes in, of course. We pull the loon, but not the Lumberloon. A perfectly fireball, a perfectly positioned fireball right there. Hits the Lumberjack and the balloon. Mega Minion does kill it. He freezes. No, he doesn't freeze. That's a different person. I don't even know if he has freeze, dude. To be honest, I'm kind of brain dead. You get a poison down here. Uh, he does have bats, which is annoying, but it'll come in handy later because we'll just poison it. The poison does kill the wizard, which is nice. Get another lava. Oh, damn. 
we get a tombstone literally the point of the tombstone is just to get down in time for us to get another golden knight on the field to tank for that and coming in here he can't afford a lumber loon push really um don't know why he got an extra jump there that was kind of stupid maybe it's because it retargeted yeah it did it's because it retargeted we're getting another poison down against the wizard and we fireball it because i want to kill it before it can target my lava pups and just like that we win the game or no, we don't win the game. We just cycle back to another poison. Hold on. Lovely matchups, dude. It's freaking great. It's just amazing. Sudden death globe tournament. How skillful it is. Now, you may be also asking, you're like, oh, well, why can't I use Lumber Loon? Well, go ahead and use Lumber Loon, honestly. I don't know if it's better than Lava, but I'm not a Lumber Loon YouTuber. I don't play Lumber Loon. I play Lava, so I'm making a video on the best Lava Loon deck for Sun Death Tournament. I don't know if this is the best one for... for. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's probably not the best one for actual contention. But, you know, I will make a video on that if I do happen to get a badge after watching uh, Carl go through it. <sighs> Yeah, bro, I'm tired. We are leaking a little bit, but we figure out he's playing Lumber Loon, so we just lob in the back. No biggie. Um, Lumber and Jack kind of confirms our suspicions. We're back to another uh, tombstone. we got to be careful, though, because there is a baby dragon coming down. Uh, poison not needed. It's probably needed. I, it's better to be safe than sorry. And I, I wasn't safe, like, over half the time. Which is annoying, but he also has Archer Queen, so like, what the shit. Uh, he does go over there and pretty much kill the Archer Queen, which is what the Chad Knight is known for. Banging women. We do win off of this push, so that's pretty cool. Uh, literally no skill, you just deep freezes, but at that point he's so low on Elixir, he can't do anything after he freezes. We just win the game. the game lava in our starting hands a lava in the back you know how it goes skeleton dragons there uh actually no skeleton dragons there skeleton dragons there take care of that uh dark prince dark prince is annoying so we take care of him we get the balloon behind the lava hound uh he has the queen i think we're just gonna fireball poison the queen and it's gone and just like that it's pretty much over even though he has lightning you know just what are you going to do? He tornado and now he's officially out of elixir GG. What do you, what do you think we're going to do here, Val? Lava in the back, first play. Well, we don't have it, so we cycle. We do a tombstone at the bridge. And we go a lava at the bridge. What am I talking about? Never tombstone the bridge. Okay, so we're looking at, I'm like, oh, graveyard maybe? Maybe it could be Graveyard. And then we realize it's Slumberloon again. Son of a bitch. You, you you could probably get a badge just sniping Lumberloon. Like, I don't even... I, I mean, you could just... I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about Lava Miner. Like, I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I'm not a great Lava Miner player, and I don't know if that would actually work. Maybe something with the Chad Knight to make sure you can try and get damage. So I'm going to try Lava Miner with the Chad Knight soon, but it's just, come on, Chad Knight's on the tower, Balloon's on the tower. Okay, Mini Kenzo, I don't know who that is, Kenzo's wimp. If you want to 1v1, I will 1v1 and clap your ass. Lumber Loon again, dude, who would have thought? Jesus H. Christ. Okay, so, a great tombstone position, stays alive, well after death, he does freeze late, and that's pretty much GG's for him can't freeze late on me buddy it's just not gonna work he is running the lumber loon cycle or something so some, some type of bullshit i don't know why you thought that balloon would work but it didn't because we back to our tombstone um a tip i would recommend when playing this deck is definitely um you want to go for golden knight as early as you can because golden knight makes your uh cycle go down and that's really nice it's very nice when you have a cheap cycle so you don't have to deal with nothing but I played at Eaglem earlier today that I'm going to display uh, in like a TikTok short. We played like a five minute match, dude. And, and it came down to literally one HP. It was insane. It was absolutely freaking crazy. 
Little knight, because I was trying to create some opposite pressure since I know that push on the left is dead, and if I give anything more to it, he's just going to counter push. Plus, Lava Pups can pretty much kill that Inferno Dragon so that he can't counter push with that, and um, that's pretty nice. Inferno Dragon's not really a threat counter pushing, but I can't go into it in front of the dragon. Hey, bro, I'm so freaking tired. Skeleton Dragon's tired of your bullshit. Skeleton Dragon's coming down here. They do stop the Lumber Loon when we fireball here. I think you give it a head, but it's it's no 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 diggity. 69. Sex number. Funny sex. Ha ha funny funny twerking moment. God, okay, never mind. I was just I was just seeing if you were still watching the video. That's all I was doing. And we just he's out of everything, dude. His towers are raised, but it doesn't really matter. He freezes. Yeah, it's come on, dude. He's low on elixir. Just gonna poison. See if he puts anything else down. Nope, he doesn't. GG's. Easy. Now, I believe the next two matches are losses. The graveyard, even though I have poison for graveyard, graveyard is just an extremely tough matchup. Um, this one was extremely tough because he had like seven air counters. Okay. And, and Skeleton King, which is literally the worst matchup in the game for this deck. Actually, no, I don't know about this deck, but in general. Yeah, he has Tesla. He has, okay, I messed up the Chad Knight. He has Tesla. He has the freaking Musketeer. He has, it's just crazy. What am I supposed to do? I mean, he, and then by the time, you know, I get another push down, he's back to everything. So he, it's just an endless torment. But luckily, you're not going to face this stuff every match. And if you probably, if I put my brain to it, I probably could have clutched out this win. Stop making some stupid plays that I did. Probably could have dropped a poison down here. And and that was just annoying because I messed up and gave him a bunch of damage because of low power notification. Uh, however, it wouldn't matter ultimately because there's no way we're breaking through a Tesla and Ice Wizard and Musketeer. And the Skeleton King is so damn beefy that we can't really do anything about it. Same with the Bowler. Our only ground dude is getting pushed back by the Bowler, dude. He's getting bullied by big black non white men. Um, yeah, at that point it was just. It was. It was over. Graveyard and Skeleton King Graveyard and Bowler, and, and the poison can only do so much, but. Poison killed a lot of that crap too, but the bowler is just, he wouldn't die. He wouldn't die. He's like Thanos, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, and then we had one last game versus Renuncelitis. He was playing a Dark Prince Goblin Giant Sparky. It's annoying, but come on, dude. I lost this by like a very slim margin. I should have just gone Loon here. 100%. 100% should have gone Loon there. That poison does literally nothing. I don't know why I thought it would. And that fireball actually hit nothing. So, that's always great. And he has Hunter too. Now, I don't blame him for having Hunter. It might make this matchup a little bit harder. But, he does have Hunter. So, that's probably to stop Lumberloon. Because Lumberloon is literally freaking everywhere. And then I let a Hunter connect on my tower. Because I forgot how much damage he does. Even though it's supposed to be a close range damage dealing unit, nobody uses Hunter anymore, which is good because Hunter kills Lava Hound, so. Yeah, there's nothing more to say about this matchup. It, it looked closer on paper than it actually was. It, it was just, I couldn't break through because I went with that poison earlier when I should have just one push. There's no time for two pushes. Well, I hope this video did help you get your global tournament rewards. And if it didn't, then, you know, that sucks, but you should really recommend, I, I recommend Lumberloon or this deck, honestly, because it's just good. Look at this, dude. The snowball. Literally the snowball, bro.